there's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge. This is where we call home. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. In this episode, we max out our Woodland Mills HM122 sawmill. According to the specs, it can handle 22 inch maximum log diameter. And we sure tested that limit with this big log that measured exactly 22 inches on the larger end. It ended up being 19 inches on the smaller end. This beast was heavy. We worried she might not be able to handle it, but the old 1959 John Deere crawler picked up this log like a champ. Once we got it placed on the track, there was no wiggle room. Just to double check, it did measure 22 inch diameter on the big end and it was 12 feet long. We knew we were gonna be close, but this log didn't fit between the blade guides of the sawmill. We had it tied to the log dogs, so it was pushed over as far as it would go, but with the bark on it, it protruded out just far enough that the blade guide couldn't pass clean on one side. So we tried taking a hatchet and removing some of that bark on that side. And it was still too close. So it's time to get serious. We ended up just chainsawing off a portion of that side of the log. Well, hopefully this will do it. That side was okay and would pass, but now the other side was rubbing on the blade guide. Luckily, just a little more hatcheting took care of that problem. We really did have to keep an eye on that though and watch closely to check for other interference with the blade guides. I normally wouldn't be standing down log like this while he's cutting towards me, but that was the best vantage point to keep an eye on this. Once we got that far, we figured we'd be in the clear, but
but it turns out we had the same issue when the log was turned. So we ended up peeling off some more bark on this other side too, and it bought us just enough room. Now, the other issue that came up with a log of this size was that the log clamps couldn't be utilized until this point when we had taken slabs off of two opposite sides. Then it was finally thin enough that we were able to fit the log clamps on. We took our chances not clamping it in, but figured we were going slow and really just hoping that the sheer weight of the log was enough to hold it in place to cut those first few slabs off. We really weren't expecting that, so we were a little surprised, especially considering our log measured exactly 22 inches diameter with the bark on it. It was a bit smaller with the bark removed, but we figured the 22 inches should have fit given that that's the maximum stated log diameter, and we weren't exceeding that limit. We finally got to the point where we could mill some 2x10s out of this beast. We'd like to take this opportunity to give a shout out to our subscribers. We appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for joining us on this adventure. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you'd like to follow our journey, please consider subscribing.
after those first few hiccups at the start, everything after that went smoothly and the rest of this log went pretty quick. Honestly, we spent most of the time on this log just simply manipulating it at the beginning to get it to fit the sawmill. Now our next task is figuring out what to do with all these 2x10s. If you'd like to get a hold of us with questions or comments, please email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com, or plip plop a comment below. We love hearing from you. We're headed off to stack and sticker this lumber for the saw shack, but we probably won't be filming any of that, so stay tuned for our next video. Thanks so much for watching. We sure appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow our journey, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a popple people too. We'll see you soon.